What's up, everybody? It's Games Played here, and I'm back with episode four of our Minecraft survival. Let's play in a desert only biome. If you're enjoying the series, consider liking and subscribing. It's free, and it helps me out a lot. And you can always unsubscribe later if you want to, but you won't. In the last episode, we got completely stomped by an iron golem and faced our first death. Point in case on why I did not try hardcore on my first biome only challenge. We finally found a water source with sugarcane and started a little sugarcane farm in front of our house. Uh, we also found some trees and some chests and got a little tree oak tree farm started. We also went on a quest for an anvil. We succeeded. It took almost the whole episode just to get the iron for that because we got really unlucky with iron. But we did get it and now we were able to put a couple of books on our diamond pick we've had since like a minute into the series. And now we have a mending fortune 3 efficiency 3 pick. Uh, we're going to be trying to get unbreaking on as soon as possible. I'm trying to get one of the villagers to be a librarian with it. We'll see. But anyway, we're going to mine this diamond vein that I'd found a while ago. And now that we have fortune 3, let's see if it was worth the wait. So, yeah, the first one gave us one, and then we're going to mine these other ones. There were two more, and then the last two. So, out of five, we got a total of 11. Uh, worth the wait, in my opinion. Finding six more diamonds would have taken a long time. So, I think instead of exploring the cave right now, what I want to do is get some diamond gear. We're going to go explore that mine shaft at some point also, definitely, that we had found in the last episode over there. Um, down one of these tunnels, but... I want to go and continue down to Y-58, do some strip mining, and hopefully get us some diamonds so we can gear up. So we started strip mining, and there just wasn't enough experience where I could just keep this thing going without unbreaking. So after, you know, some durability loss, I would switch to like an iron pick for a while and break any, uh, any redstone or lapis or anything that gave experience. I would use my uh, diamond pick on it to heal it back up. And then switched it for a while. We end up finding diamonds several times in here. We strip mine for, uh, this is like 21 times speed. We, we strip mine for probably about 30 to 40 minutes. And in the end, we got about 30 diamonds. So uh, I consider that pretty lucky. 11 of them were from the vein I'd already found. So we actually only got 19 from the strip mining. Not great, but eh, I'll take it. You know, I mean, we can, uh, we can definitely make some stuff with that. I, I mean, we can get full diamond gear. I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. We're going to take a break from this and head back up to the top. And just like that, full diamond gear and even have a few to spare. We can make a sword and probably like a shovel or something out here. We'll make something useful, I'm sure. So as you see, the tree farm and sugarcane farm are doing great. Um, I'm probably going to work on expanding those as my next task. So I don't really understand. I thought that trees made paper but in minecraft sugar cane makes paper so is it edible paper just a random thought of the day um maybe they thought it was too easy to use trees to make paper so they went with uh sugar cane but anyway i think we're going to expand this another row real quick um it's getting a little bigger i definitely want to keep expanding it because in my last video, I stopped, and it takes a lot of pages to get emeralds, but it is worth it in the end. And I dug a row, filled it with water, but there's actually a creeper running towards me right now, so I'm just trying to finish this off, get the water in it, and then I'm going to sprint around, and there's another creeper. Um, so we're going to run into our house now. Uh, it's never safe at night here. Uh, maybe we should put up like a fence and a bunch of lights so they don't spawn. I don't know. We might need to do something. Anyway, I went back and you guessed it. I broke lecterns for a very long time again. Like, I don't know. This was probably my longest session yet, like a 40 minute session. But at the very end, I was rewarded. And you're about to see it. I finally was given Unbreaking 3. Yeah, and he wants 48 emeralds for it. That's freaking ridiculous. But at least we got it. I don't even care. You get back in your hole. What are you doing out here? Stay you too, stay in there. Y'all stay in your room. You're not allowed to leave. So I actually have enough emeralds to buy it, but the problem being I don't have enough experience to put it on. More sugar cane, of course, because why not? We need paper. So at this point, I was debating on just strip mining, I, but then I thought, well, I'm not really going to get much experience because my pick's going to take it all and I really need to heal it back up anyway. 
So I decided actually to go to the mine shaft and we're gonna go explore this thing and see uh see how lost I can get. So we entered the mine shaft and of course we're gonna snag any ores we come across. We're gonna pick up any redstone, anything like that, um, and try and heal our pick back up because once I'm breaking three is on it, it's gonna take even longer to heal. And now we're gonna watch me zip through here really fast at like 25 times speed. I was in this place for like 40 minutes, but by the time I left, I ended up with like over two stacks of iron, over like almost two stacks of gold, like 10 diamonds, a whole bunch of lapis and redstone. Those don't really matter though. Um, we didn't really find anything good as far as like books or like, I mean, enchanting books or anything like that. It was really just the ores here that were worth it. We ended up in this second cave system, and that's where we got a lot of the ore at, actually. But um, we even found a second mine shaft, like 100 blocks away across this cave. And once we got there, uh, I went in it just for a little bit. I did not want to get lost in a second mine shaft. So there was a couple of chests, but, you know, nothing really to mention. Eventually, though, I was getting tired of being here, so I... I could not find my way out. I, I literally tried forever. So I eventually just said, I'm just going to go straight up because, uh, yeah, that's that's all I can think to do. So we're going to go straight up and hope we don't die. But, yeah, we just start digging up. And, yeah, you see, I found a bunch of coal and I mined it and then realized I don't even have inventory for it. But, yeah, we kept mining up. I even come across, like, a small cave in there. But, yeah, that turned out to be nothing. Eventually, though, we make it to the surface and we're at the village right near our temple. Um, somehow we got all the way over here. But anyway, that was kind of, uh, I mean, it was worth it because of the ores. We got a ton of ore. We're going to, we're stacked on iron for quite a while now. But we didn't get anything else. And now the whole reason I went down there, I was kind of hoping to get some experience from some monsters and loot the mine shaft, but... I only got a little bit. I only came across a few monsters, so we're actually just going to run out at night in the desert. I just made a diamond sword. We're going to kill some mobs real quick and get to level 10, just so we can enchant our pick with Unbreaking 3. And after an incredibly long wait, guys, we finally have our pick. It is uh, almost as good as it gets. We we could have efficiency 5, but eh, I'm okay with... Uh, we'll get efficiency 4 at the very least. I know efficiency 5 is only from books. Um, or at least that's what I understand. So we'll get efficiency four later at some point, I'm sure. So our new goal is to go down into these mines and strip mine. Yeah, exciting. But anyway, uh, as I go down, you'll see in a second, this skeleton tries to knock me down. He actually came really close, but we just keep going down, ignore him, whatever. Um, there seems to be some creepers in our tunnel since I didn't torture them up. But that's okay, we'll just block them off and start strip mining, and this thing's doing great. So, we actually came down these mines for two reasons, not just diamonds. We have plenty of gold and plenty of iron now, so it's really just diamonds down here. We actually came for diamonds and cobblestone, of all things, because um, I really want to build a mob grinder now. I just uh, decided, you know what, if we're going to be in this world a while, then we really need one. It's so much easier to get enchants. It's a couple hours of, you know, of my time, but that's okay. So we're just going to keep at this for a bit, and we don't really have the best luck. The first, like, 75% while I'm down here, I don't find a single diamond, which is, you know, just my luck. And then this creeper tried to ruin my day, but I didn't let him. But anyway, we uh, eventually find some diamonds yeah uh just this you know it's only two i was a little disappointed it was only two after all this time but i i persevered i said you know what we're gonna finish out this strip mine i'm gonna go all the way to the end and turn around and come back and i was rewarded because there was another diamond vein and this one had uh i think seven yeah so we ended up with uh we have 14 total uh, and then we found another one all in this one line so i guess the life lesson is don't give up folks because you keep going and you'll eventually find something good. But anyways, after that, I decided I was going back to my house. And it is time to get everything else we need, the wood and everything, so that we are able to build an XP grinder. So I headed to the nether. I can get wood a lot faster there. And uh, why are there like a hundred zombie piglins here? Like, are they planning to... 
Are they planning to like attack my base or something? They're really close to my portal, but anyway, I can get wood a lot faster in the nether because they have like the four stack trees and they're all a lot taller usually. So we're actually going to zip through here. I brought a uh, iron axe. We're going to use the thing until it breaks and see how much wood we get. It should be enough. So I chop wood for an incredibly long time. I doubted the durability of an iron axe, but eventually we do break it and we have a few stacks of wood to take with us home. It should be plenty of wood. But then me not thinking made a whole lot of warped slabs instead of trap doors. I have a ton of cobblestone enough to make plenty of slabs. I have no reason to make slabs out of wood, but I end up doing that and then I realize, oh, crap. Um, can I turn these back into like a block or something? Is there like a recipe to turn them back? I, I don't know. Anyway, I just throw them in the chest because I was like, oh, well now I'm probably not going to have enough wood, of course. And then even though I just made trap doors, I was going to be short anyway. I actually make slabs again by accident. I just did the one row instead of the two. And yeah, so I ended up with more slabs. At this point, I was cussing at myself going, what the hell are you thinking? So we have a ton of warp slabs that we don't actually need. Um, we'll probably build something later, I guess, since I have so many of them. Uh, I'm not sure what yet. We'll get to that at some point. I'm not sure if they would affect the spawn of monsters since they're like a nether wood maybe they i don't want to risk them like not spawning or something so i'm just going to use cobblestone because i know it works i did it in my first series we're going to go with that so naturally the next step is to we take out our rage on the sugar cane because we can and why not we need more emeralds anyway for mending later for all of our items and then we have to chop down a bunch of our oak trees because we're short on wood now and I don't feel like going back to the nether right this minute. So we're going to chop down some of our oak trees, get enough wood to make our trap doors. And I'll make sure and replant these though, don't worry. And after many obstacles, we finally have almost everything we need. We're missing just a couple of things like some ladders and some stairs. Nothing big. Uh, we can definitely get that really quickly. So next we're going to build our XP farm and to do that first we have to go up 128 blocks. I'm actually not 100% sure why. I think it has to do with despawning monsters that are on the ground. Uh, this XP farm may not be as perfect as my other one just because there are mountains around us that are just as tall. And they may uh, take up a little bit of the mob count but we'll see. This it, It'll still work way better than running around killing monsters. So we are now sky high, folks. I actually paused the game here because I wasn't sure what the height of uh, Minecraft was now. And I wanted to make sure we could actually finish building this thing. So one improvement I made to this thing is um, I've just started, but it made my water source. If you put water on these corners, you're actually able to just climb up the waterfall. Instead of wasting a time on a bunch of ladders, it seems to be a little quicker or just as quick as the ladders. And in my last series, well, two series ago, um, we used bamboo scaffolding like the video said. And a creeper blew up at the base and took out all my scaffolding, caused a whole mess. Go watch that series. It, it's pretty, pretty interesting. I die a whole lot. But anyway, uh, I like the water elevator. It's a lot better, a lot safer. And I can just jump down. Next, we're going to throw down some chests and some hoppers our collection system and then we're actually going to go back to the house i'm going to now that i have chest here i'm going to leave a little bit of my uh cobblestone up here and go down and get the rest of my slabs i didn't have enough inventory space to bring it all you're like four or five slab stack short so we're going to pop down there and grab that Whee! and this is why i like the waterfall way you just jump down no problems Next, we're going to tower up really high so the monsters are basically dead when they hit the bottom. Next, we're going to build us a little plus up here in the air. We're going to put some stairs here just to make the monsters fall in easier. Now, we throw up some walls around this plus shape real quick. These will be water canals to wash the monsters down to our hole. Next, now that we have finished the walls around our little plus, we made a water source and... Uh, it's placed just far enough away so everyone gets pushed to these stairs and then they fall down to their doom where I can finish them off. Next, we slabbed out all of the areas so that they connected. 
and we throw trapdoors down on all these edges so the monsters will fall in and after that we're actually going to place the uh, trapdoors in a kind of precarious pattern here and the reason for that is to stop spiders from spawning um, we have to do this on all the platforms it reduces the mob count very slightly but if you get spiders they'll get hung up in here in the corners and won't come down and we just want to avoid them so uh, yes for some reason spiders hate trap doors uh, I didn't know that but anyway next we throw up a three block high wall all the way around this thing making sure that it goes on the outer edge and this is when you realize you forget got one of your stacks of cobblestone and you're gonna be short so I went ahead and just jumped down I'm gonna go get them now um, get a couple stacks actually just in case because I'm always uh, a little bit short on something it seems like we're now gonna do the same thing again and build platforms directly above these at that third block and do the whole thing with the trap doors on the edges and the trap doors on the platforms to stop spiners uh, you could get by with one if you just need you know wanted a minimal farm but uh, we, we want a lot of XP. This step is super important. Make sure that you don't sleep for days before you build this thing. That way the phantoms come and join you because it makes it for a good time. Yeah, not really. I ended up just kind of building a little roof of my head. Uh, the next layer of slabs that's going to be the roof. And hiding out for a couple of uh, minutes and just waiting for the night to end. Yay! And then I accidentally wasted my water source here. Luckily, I had another one. Next up, we're going to make sure we throw some torches on these corners first off because we do not want monsters to spawn on the roof. Um, and then as you see, I've started the roof over there. We are going to throw a slab roof on top of this thing above the second block of the wall so that monsters have room to spawn. So anyway, we're just going to wait for monsters and hopefully they start dropping soon. I think I placed a bucket of water on that slab. I'm actually going to go up there and try and fix it. Um, I do place the water in the correct place, but, uh, you know, it doesn't actually fix the, where the water is leaking down. I think I placed an extra bucket on one of the slabs. Um, and if you place it on the bottom of a slab, it just will like fall through. So anyway, there's a waterfall behind me that goes all the way up to the top. That might actually be handy if I need to, for some reason, work on this thing. But anyway, it's not hurting anything. The mob spawn is starting to work. You see them dropping down. We're good to go. Alright guys, I'm going to hang out up here for a while and AFK and get some XP so we can enchant our armor in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I sure am. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.